our precious, beautiful daughter, Brooke, who went home to be with Jesus. But I had the honor of knowing Brooke before she went home to heaven and uh, got to visit her at CHOP. You know what that is? Philadelphia. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I think that's the same one up there. Spirit's going to take you away now. No, I'm just serious. Um, sweet, sweet girl. And I'll never forget her. Um, in fact, one time I brought her backstage to meet my band. And I said, do you, she was such an inspiration to me. And I was like, do you have a pep talk for my band? Can you... You could give them a motivational speech, and she just goes, don't screw up. <laughs> and I'll never forget it. And she knew I wrote songs for people, and one time she was like, how come, you know, you are you ever going to write a song for me? And I was like, well, maybe I will. What should I call it? And she thought about it for a second, and she said, how about never, ever give up? And uh, I'll never forget that. And my friend Amy is here in the crowd tonight. Y'all can cheer for her real loud if you want to. <laughs> This is what I wrote for Brooke. It goes like this. If I could, I would. I'd put your picture in a dictionary. They'd see your face if ever they tried to spell extraordinary. Unforgettables. Unforgettables. Yeah. That's what you are. Cause you got a smile that could light up all New York City. When life comes at you hard, you make it look so easy. No matter what you're facing, you are my inspiration, yeah, that's what you are. You're the fighter who doesn't know how to back down. You